My name is Mary Rogers McMaster. Hi everyone, I'm Laura. Hi, I'm Nisha. I'm Anya and I'm playing Jennifer in Women Rules. And I'll be playing Shelly. I play Chelsea. I'm playing a character called Claire. It's an interesting concept because it opens the discussion on gender roles. Shelly is a housewife and she finds herself in an unhappy situation with her husband. She's a bartender. She's sexy and she gets hit on by boys and the typical cliche. I'm from the South. I'm used to the uh, traditional idea of the man being in charge. And I think audiences are going to really enjoy seeing that switch, even though it's, you know, it's going to take a little bit of suspension of disbelief. But I think that that's important because it keeps it a little farther away from us and it's not such a, because it is a hot button issue. Because you don't realize the power that you do have. And I think that's going to be something I'm going to have to find a balance of, is playing the maternal version of Jennifer and then the paternal version. And to, you know, know that power. The, the theme is to find the balance between both. You know, to have the feminine and the masculine. Like, where can you come in between? And so by, for this film to show both extremes, is gonna let the audience make up their own mind. How much do you need of both worlds? It's giving you two options. Basically, Shelly is a housewife and she's verbally and physically abused by her husband. The concept of this film is actually really unique. A lot of people don't bring up the issues that are brought into this film. Physical abuse and sexual abuse is so hardcore and it's so, it's sad. And I think that's the hardest part of, the, of my character. So, if I were to wake up in the world too, I think I'd kind of go out for some revenge, you know what I'm saying? I enjoy that, being the strong one, being the one who, is, who has all of the power. People should watch this movie because it's, it's something that can open a discussion about abusive relationships in a different way so that we have a different perspective and eventually something can be stirred up in everyone. People who watch it will be surprised. They'll be blown away. And I think they'll leave with some type of perspective at the end of the film. This movie tries to show the fact that this type of violence against women or men should be stopped. Because of the perspective it offers. It's a dramatic difference. It's showing one world and then the other. Just having those two extremes, and like I mentioned, the way it's displaced kind of in this sci-fi type. I mean, I don't know if you want to be tagged as a sci-fi, but the way the film is written is that it's two completely different worlds. And it lets the audience decide how much do we need of each, what's necessary, what's not. Because when you have extremes, it doesn't hit as close to home. It's like looking at a black and white photo. You can separate yourself enough from it and take the beauty out of it that you will without feeling like it's hitting close to home. It's not peaceful, it's not nice, it's not happy, it's just dark and sad and powerful and it's not the way we, I don't think it's the way we are meant to live in this world. <laughs>